hello everyone Vakar here with another uh, video tutorial in which I'm just going to show you how to save Shopify contact form data to Google Sheets uh, everyone knows how Shopify work is they send the contact form in uh, contact inquiry form data to the admin email which you uh, provide when you create the store they doesn't save this data into any kind of uh, database like um, Shopify admin panel or there isn't any plugin as well which can capture the data and save it into um, any database you have so the best way to keep this data safe um, just in case you lost those inquiry emails is to save them into <coughs> Google Sheets and I'm gonna show you how to integrate that today with my test Shopify uh, store and uh, make sure you follow this video till the end exactly as i do uh, just to make sure everything is working on your end and uh, one thing for sure uh, just make sure your store is jquery enabled uh, because um, this setup needs some javascript integration plus uh, jquery as well so uh, i believe on my store jquery is already installed so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, set up everything as we need to so just need to make sure um, that you have the jquery in order to make this work and the rest of the stuff i will just show you in this video so uh, if you look at this my github uh, project you can see uh, there are two steps we need to follow which is set up google sheet to accept the data and set up shopify contact form to send the data to google sheet we will begin with um, setting up our google sheet first so i need to go into my drive and create a new sheet i'm gonna name it uh test sheet to save shopify contact form data okay so once that uh, what we need to do is do we need to uh, work on the first row on the very first row we need to input the name of those fields uh, the home data we need to save in here so uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, copy the names of those inputs which are just right here in that Google sheet uh, well I'm gonna start from here I will show you why since I have only four fields in my this um, Shopify form so I'm gonna save those four plus one another in which I'm gonna store the time when someone exactly submit that form just to make sure I know when this inquiry was submitted uh, there is no other way you can track that otherwise it will only store the contact name contact phone email and stuff whatever you add in there but uh, in that case you are uh, you never knew when this inquiry was submitted and in order to uh, get rid of that I just um, set up another field which is hidden which we need to add into our uh, Shopify form later on but f its name I'm just gonna copy it over into my Shopify sheet right now just to make sure everything is set up okay so once the those fields are set up you uh, doesn't need to um, play with it anytime later on because if you change something which is not here like um, the name of the field which we sends from here and which is here if it's different even a single bit it's not gonna work it's not gonna save that field in here so since I just created uh, a new sheet with the names I need to store in here what I need to do is to go to tools and click on script editor and once I'm on that you can see the default function my function I need to replace it with uh, this file I just have right here google scripts dot gs do not change anything in it you just need to copy the raw data which we have just right here copy everything and paste it basically replace with what you already have in there done so let's save it and call something shopify contact form 
data submit okay so once it's done uh, what you need to do is to go to run run function and click on setup okay so wait a second something went wrong review permission and you need to select your account and allow the permission this asked click on allow okay so yeah it's done so next thing you need to do is to click on the publish and click on deploy as web app and yeah uh, you need to check this third option which is n anyone even anonymous um that's very important if you do not do that you can get an error and your data will never process so just select this option click on deploy and once it's done you need to copy that link that's the most important part that's how we uh the script now where we are sending the data okay so click okay and then you can close this one if you want okay since uh, google sheet is already set up everything is done here we uh, got what we needed which is basically this link where we are going to send that data so next step will be to set up shopify contact form to send the data okay and uh, in order to do that you need to uh, access the theme code like i have this live theme just right here and what I need to do is to go to edit code okay and in edit code you need to find the template uh, where you have your contact form code in the backend so uh, first thing you need to go to pay.contact uh, in most themes uh, all the data is in here but since my theme is section ready so it's in contact uh, dash template so I'm gonna go right here and there you can see I have the contact form code in the Shopify just right here okay so <coughs> by default Shopify contact form have the ID as you can just see right here uh, contact underscore form okay just remember this so what we need to do is to uh, first of all you need to uh, install this uh, jQuery library in there so what I'm gonna do is click on this one and just copy the name the name of this sorry till that point dot man. you need to go in here create a new asset blank file dot js like this and after that you have copy everything which is in there to your newly created js file it's just right here i'm gonna save it so once it's done what you need to do is to go to contact template okay and at the end of the code you need to add the script tag so you can add the jquery in here and the jquery is also in my github uh, repository which you need to go to this one you got it just copy the raw data of this one copy everything from there go back here and paste it just in here okay so that's the important part since i told you that uh, sh default shopify contact fam form have the id as contact underscore form so you are good with that because i already have added in this code and uh, next thing you need to do is uh, remember uh, the URL we copied from uh, that script file you need to paste it in here replace it with this one 
like this and after that there is another option <coughs> um, that's how it's gonna work when you click on that submit button uh, it's supposed to trigger an event uh, a function on click event it is gonna trigger that function which is just right here okay so there are two options uh, sorry three options first thing which uh, happened by default when you click on the submit button it sends the data to the admin email you provide when you create the store the second thing with this script we can do uh, it's gonna send the data to the Google sheet but it's not gonna send the data to the uh, Shopify admin but if you want both enabled you need to do is to remove this line delete this if you want to send data to admin email address okay uh, since i want to set up that so i'm gonna remove that line and uh, the next thing you need to do is to save it just right here okay since that's safe I need to locate the input button and you need to check if there is an ID already assigned to your submit button since in my case it's not assigned so I need to assign the ID because uh, that's how this function is going to be triggered when we click on that button and in jQuery we need to capture that I'm gonna give the same ID I have here to this input button like this uh, if the ID is already assigned what you need to do is to use that same ID just right here okay you do not need to change the ID uh, existing ID because it can break other functions which are assigned with that ID so I already have done that and uh, the next thing you remember in the Google sheet I added date and time and in order to get that working you need to copy this hidden field which I just have right here into your form tag of Shopify uh, you just make sure you enter it after that uh, this form starting tag anywhere okay so in that case I'm just gonna do it right here or maybe just after the errors so what's it it's gonna do it's a hidden field it will send the date and time with this name uh, the current time when someone submit uh, the form to that Google Sheet so we can track it's working okay and the last thing here what we need to do is to we need to add that script file because um, since we need it only on this page so there is no need to add it into uh, the default theme dot liquid okay it, it can just make some um, <coughs> it can basically break your stuff but um, I hope it's not but since we need it so we are gonna do it on the contact page only and that's we are gonna do by uh, you need to copy existing script file the easiest way to do is to find it in here like this and enter it just right here okay and then you need to copy the name of this one like this save it and I believe we are all set so let's go ahead and test if it's gonna work or not and before that I'm gonna verify a few things by inspecting the code if my stuff is in there or not so if you inspect the code you can see the hidden field which says date time value is just right here that's what is going to send to the google sheet when i click on the submit button and you can see the id is there and our sheet is just right here you can click open a new tab just to make sure if it's live or not and you can see our script is also there and now what we are gonna do is go ahead and run the test by worker and I'm gonna use your phone as blah 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 anything ok 
okay so let's hit it and see how it works okay I need to verify because I already submit some strips so okay it says uh, thank you for contacting us we will get back to you as soon as possible which means the form data is sent already and there should be an email which you can see just right here vocar and the phone and my email address and testing something out it means we got that on our shopify admin now we need to go in here and yeah there you go now you can see you have this data just right here which was the date and time when we submitted and the contact name and contact phone contact email and contact body so um, I hope you followed everything um, you can style your sheet any way you like it it's totally up to you I'm just going to submit another test data by name of Alex and phone number is 123 and email is email at email.com and comment is blah 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 doesn't need to make any sense I hope there isn't any other bus <laughs> yeah it is so let's submit and the form data goes through and I should also get an email like this one and when you go back in here it's also supposed to be in here as well I'm waiting for it let me see if there is any thing missing friends it goes through the email haven't received on my email yet yes it does okay yeah and now you can see you have this data just right here you can format your sheet any way you like it it's totally up to you um, fill color this and this and yeah like this yep so these are just um, the things you can do on your sheet it's totally up to you it doesn't matter uh, you can keep it clean or you can style it anywhere any way you like but uh, that's how it works and I just showed you everything uh, from start to scr uh, from start till the end and i hope it makes sense but if you feel difficult to get it done you can contact me through my um email address uh, you can contact me through my website you can contact me through my upper profile and just let me know if you want me to set up it for you i will do it but that's the easiest way and simple way to do it get to get it done to save your shopify contact form data to google sheets like how i showed you just right here thank you so much for watching and um, please give it a thumbs up if you find this useful for you thank you so much and have a nice day bye bye